Hey there, it's DJ B, and in this video I have a very special unboxing. This particular model is not mine, unfortunately. This is a commission horse, but this is a highly sought after sculpture. I'm very excited to open it and give my first reaction to it because I've never seen one in person before, and it's always so different to see all these photos of these particular horses that are beautiful and amazing, and then actually having them in in your studio is a completely different experience actually seeing them in person and the details that they have. So resins for me are difficult because they're very expensive. I have a hard time spending more than like $200 on a model, like that's kind of my max. And so it's really hard for me to find resins. Traditional kind of start at $400 and it's just really expensive and this one is worth even more than that because she's so sought after. How I kind of do it is I'll say I'll open up my resin commissions and then people send me their fancy resins free of charge. <laughs> the only kicker is they don't belong to me and I don't get to keep them. They always have a sticker on them and this is fun. It's like a bunch of colorful packing peanuts. Let's try not to drop it because it's worth more than my real horse. <laughs> this is the softest bubble wrap. Can you see? <laughs> She's smaller than I thought. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I can just pull it off. Ta-da! <laughs> just lovely. So this is the Resin Horse Sculpture Anise by Jennifer Scott. And this has become, it's taken the model horse world by storm. And then they released mini Anises at the Jennifer show and everyone went crazy for those. So these guys are really hard to find, really, really cool to have her in person, and she paints up so nicely, and I'm really excited to paint a horse of this quality and realism, because a lot of my work is just done kind of on prior models, and it's good to do so, but it's even nicer when you have like a good quality horse, because that really showcases your paint work. Now it's really hard to see, but she actually has like super crazy veins all over her body, so that's a really good close up of her. The tail is so so fun, there's a lot of dynamic in it. The client, she's ordered from me before, and she wants the braids taken off and the mane added. She said leave the tail because the tail is actually really nice as it is. So it is tricky though because I have to kind of match the style of the tail in the mane. And she comes with not one but two bases. Super fast clay base, like there's nothing happening there. And then this one says Anise on it, and it has a little bit of dirt texturing to it. Oh, she fits so nice, and that's so cool. I love it. My boyfriend does like grass texture and stuff, like you've probably seen some of his work in collaboration with some of my work, but this is like a really cool large scale base. There's a lot happening there. There's a lot of resin to work with. So we may do something with him. And then the other base is just pretty basic, pretty simple. So I have to discuss with the client what she's kind of thinking and talk to my boyfriend as well. I need myself an Anise, man. Cause that could be so cool to like have in your collection if you had like this crazy base with this beautiful horse on top. I love that. It's so cool to have these pieces in my house and be able to see them in real life and work with them in real life. Really, really fun. So look out for this painted Anise and uh, if you have an Anise for sale, let me know because holy banana. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and happy customizing and 